the rascal after his car, vaulted off the third turn, turn, cleared a nearby creek, and rammed into a tree. Although knocked out by the impact, Little was last night reported in good condition by the hospital, who said he suffered facial lacerations. A few of that in the video. Uh, you were involved in demolition derbies as well? Oh, yeah. Yep. How were they set up? Uh, Did you ever get hurt? No. Yep. I'm just thinking of cars getting... They're, they're trying to knock you out. No. Yep. Not you personally, but the car. Yep. Yeah. But, uh, well, it's a short track, you know, and you only go... Might make you a little shaky but <laughs> for a minute. <laughs> Do you remember anybody getting hurt? Wanted to run to win, but uh, put a good show on. You remember winning any feature races, Leeward? Yeah, I had one some. So naturally, he was after the money, you know. Right. And then she got a trophy, there was no money. <laughs> <laughs> now that's mine right there, too, this, this Dodge here. It's black one in the middle. Right. <laughs> Pretty cool, isn't it? We're waiting for somebody to admit that. <laughs> <laughs> Here's a... I would say that was Howie Johnson, if I was to take a guess. Here's a, here's a couple other. That's 48 dots. But it would beat them forts, you know, but it, then it would fall. What happened most of the time, the front end was too heavy, and then knock the wheels off of it, and this and that. Right, but we're just having fun. Yeah, we go out there, we didn't care about your car, we go out there and have fun. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't real wet, but if you didn't, you didn't have the dust. Don was talking about, his brother Don was talking about, uh, between the races, like on Thursday, I mean, he'd have to grade it and maybe put some water on it. Were you involved in that at all, or is that just... Uh, no, I didn't get involved in that. But they, uh, you know, Dad had his dozer up there. He'd grade in between, you know, with the track get pretty rough. Because right. there was no, really no material there on the dirt and mud, you know. Run them off and down the bar and put a roll bars in them and seat them out and away you went. Race there? I knew mean, that's a true here. Now, did you race the uh, the day in fifties? Mike's. Mike Blair almost got on that track in 1935. Well, I ran home and got a camcorder, and we took off, went down there walking around. Uh, the north end of the track, you and Dick Fangborn. Yep. And were you even aware of the racing going on at Rollerball? Yeah, we were up there watching. Right. Now, the first stretch was longer than the back stretch. Up in the middle of the hill, the back stretch was higher. Okay. And then when you come down, I went just a turn and then you know the guy was doing the bubble roll. That's the only thing I can remember that happened up there. Well, they, had, they run Ford cars most of the time, so the cars stood up good right. and, uh, for certain times, you know. Yep. And uh, it was easy to roll them over coming down off the top of the hill. I've heard of a couple of spots where it said 300 pound Alito Jaeger. To a circus like. That's done most of the fighting. I wanted to also that uh, everyone's still understanding people. A good bunch of drivers. That's what made our track. I had chains on. But he backed up on the bank up there and somebody seen the chains and turned it Oh, yeah. Uh, this is this was your old chairman. I guess if should Bud talked about at the at the time you were racing, where you go through the water, or, or did they have the planks then? Well, they had uh, planks in before I started running. I never run through the creek. You draw for the heat no, races? No. No. And based on the heat races? <laughs> <laughs> is yeah. That yep, that's just what it was. Mm -hmm. the, and yet everybody would race in the park. And we got good ground up there for the Roller Country track. You would. Yeah, this is named Chuck Bake of the Roller Ball Speedway in 1959. So far, no one seems to be able to confirm that. I can't confirm it either. If you had to say, Greg, I'm Bud Van Tassel, and I raced there for three years at Roller Ball. We moved away from here in 53. And then we lived in French Creek for five, six years. And that's when I run Rollable for, that was a, uh, more or less an obstacle course. But none of them was really fast tracks. Thank God, there would, probably a lot of us wouldn't be here today. <laughs> so 
Well, it sounded like it was rollable that many sense of the demolition derby. A lot of it was. Yeah. Bump and grind. Bump and grind. Yeah. If you get out ahead or get a buddy system, right. then you stand a chance. Right. And by the looks today, they're still using that buddy system. Yeah, I think you're right. <laughs> Absolutely. Yes, they are. But it was a great experience. Well, the good news, we're going to have a chance to go over the track there.